By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I have a booster pack opening for you and actually a series of booster pack openings. This is episode one and this booster pack opening will, um, this whole series will take up six episodes. So every Tuesday in the upcoming six weeks, I will be posting a booster pack opening and here you can see a picture of the collection that we will be opening and it's not my collection this collection is brought to me by Robin and Robin contacted me through Instagram and he said I have an old collection of booster packs that I want to open because I want to start playing with it I bought it a long time ago for me it's not about the money for me it's really about opening these cards and some of these booster packs have been framed and they've been like in my house for a while now and I've been curious forever you know what's what's in these packs so I want to open them and it would be cool to open them on your channel and is that okay with you Timmy can I open them on your channel and I said yeah of course I mean so we set a date he came by and I filmed the opening and what I've done I've divided the opening in chunks so today it's going to be episode one and what we're going to do we are going to open up the booster pack of fallen empires uh, the booster pack of Chronicles and the booster pack of Homelands. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. And next week, Tuesday, we're going to open some other booster packs and we're going to do that in a series of six episodes in total. So uh, for now, we're going to start with Fallen Empires. So we are first going to open a booster pack of Fallen Empires. And Fallen Empires is a set that consists out of 102 cards. And the most valuable card in this set is Elvish Farmer. And if you want to get a mint condition Elvish Farmer, hold your horses, it's going to be €2.50. So that's about two and a half dollars as well. Uh, interesting about this set is that it has quite a lot of noticeable cards. Uh, Elvish Farmer is one of them definitely, but also Rainbowville, High Tide, Him to Turek and Goblin Grenade or cards that see frequent play. And this set was released in November 1994. So our high value pick is going to be the Elvish Farmer. Let's see what cards Robin can pick out of this booster pack. So let's get cracking and he's taking out the Fallen Empire pack out of the frame here. And uh, let's see, so can he find this, uh, can he find the Elvish Farmer? What is your favorite card from Fallen Empire? And why is it your favorite card? Maybe there is uh, a specific art that you really enjoy. I know um, that there's there's a lot of good art in the set, actually. There's, I think, art by Drew Tucker, which is one of my favorites, kind of an impressionistic artist. There's uh, Richard King Ferguson that I really enjoy. Uh, there's some uh, Foglio art in Fallen Empires, very good artists. So here he's showing the pack, and there are only eight cards in this pack, so not 15, only eight of them. A little bit of shifting of the camera here. Opening it very carefully. And there he goes. Of die. This is well a common, that's what I know. Homer it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh... Oh, I got the last floor of Homer it, actually. Okay. Sealed. Necrit. Necrite. What's the name of Necrite? I think Necrite, yeah. yeah. Elfish Hunter. Order of Liber. Die hebben nog wel veel gespeeld deze. Voor mij zijn dit ook comments. Nee. Nee, zijn dit de hun comments. Laat je die ene lekker. Ferrell's Mantle. Ferrell's Mantle is best wel een goede kaart. Oké. Okay. Moeten dit dan comments zijn? Ja, Homerid Warriors. <laughs> Goblin Surgeon. Ja, 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 ja. En de laatste uncommon. Wiffe Murfolk. Voor je mijn Murfolk deck bij mijn uh, Lord of Atlantis. Ja, en als je, uh, als je EC dan gaat spelen, want dan mag je en Fallen Empire, maar dan mag je ook je... Uh... Collectors Edition kaart spelen. Ja, yeah, nice. 
Ik heb gewoon een power uh, Nerfrog deck spelen. Dat is wel vet, hè? And this is it, the complete booster pack, all the eight cards. And just because it's nice to look at value, I've just put a value here, looking at the prices according to card market. Um, interesting here to say is that River Merfolk is actually about a euro. So if you want to get a, a booster pack fresh River Merfolk, it's about a euro. And I'm actually not that surprised because to my knowledge, this card has never been reprinted. It is a Merfolk. You can give it Mountain Walk for one blue, and if you combine it with Lord of Atlantis, you basically have a creature that has Mountain Walk and Island Walk. So that's, that in itself is pretty strong, and just having a two power for two blue, it's pretty solid, especially in the formats where this card sees play. Um, okay, well, all the other cards were kind of like, you know, an Order of Light Burr is like five cents because it sees some play. All the other cards are kind of like between a one and a two cent. I guess a Goblin Surgeon is a little bit more. Um, but nothing special here. All in all, in total, you could say it's around one euro fifty. So um, let's go to the other booster pack opening, and I believe that is Chronicles. Chronicles, the set that got released in July 1995, and it was a very hated set because it was full of reprints from um, from the Four Horsemen sets. So that's uh, Arabian Nights, Antiquities, Legends, and the Dark. And collectors were afraid that because of these reprints, their cards would drop in value. And um, not long after, or maybe before, the reserve list got introduced. I'm not quite sure. But what I remember is when I was playing, um, this set got released. Nobody liked it. And I don't know. I didn't know why at the time. And I just decided not to like it as well. So I was just like, everybody, yeah, it's, it's, it's a crap set. And actually now that I'm playing old school and I'm playing reprints, I'm really happy with Chronicles as a set because it allows me uh, to play with some cards that I wouldn't have the money for, like Urnum Jin, for instance. Uh, but let's have a look at the set statistics. So the number of cards, there's 125 cards in this set. The most valuable card in this set, and that really surprised me, is Concordant Crossroads. It's currently going for around the 15 euro mark on Magic Card Market. Noticeable cards here are City of Brass and Blood Moon. I personally uh, thought that Blood Moon was the most valuable card here. And the other card that's not on here actually, but maybe should be on here, is the Urnum Gen. It's not very valuable, but it's definitely a, a noticeable card and a very strong card. And it sees a lot of play in old school magic. But these are the noticeable cards. Um, and the good thing here to note is that I believe Blood Moon and City of Brass are also around the 10 euro mark. So there is actually quite some value to pull out of a Chronicle Booster Pack. Who would have thought that there would be a day where you could actually pull value out of a Chronicle, Chronicles booster pack? Uh, uh, very, very interesting when you look at the history of this set. Well, let's, um, let's go and have a look at the opening. As you may have noticed by now, I'm actually showing you the original audio from the recordings when we opened these boosters. So I was talking a little bit with uh, Robin and his uh, girlfriend about the sets, about possible cards that we could find. Uh, in the sets, so it, it's all in Dutch, but the card names are English, so I'm sure you can follow. Uh, and you know, maybe you can learn some Dutch. I mean, who knows? Enjoy. Yeah, you saw me not. Ah, you saw me blackboard. Blackboard. Geen idee hoe de volgorde van deze zijn. Voor mij zit het komen of niet. Ik denk dat. Of zit al de rij? Ja, ja. Als je nu draait. Ja, zullen we het zelfs proberen? Dat is jammer. Ja, dit is. Mm -hmm. uh, dat zou ook kunnen. Dit zou ook een werk kunnen zijn. Velden Kane. Ik heb uh, geen idee. Oeh, Kumbaya Witches. Ik hoop dat het goed uitspreekt. Ja, ja. Active Volcano. Cat Warriors. Forest Walk. Divine Offering. The Avenant Archer. Ik hoop dat ik het goed uitspreek. Ja, <laughs> Fish Liver Oil. Goblin Digging Team. Dat is een wijze kaart. Ja. Kreatief. <laughs> nee, Emerald Dragonfly. 
Fire Drake. Hm, dat is nog wel grappig. Ja, dit is volgens mij een uncommon. Ja. Misschien de Dark. Ja. Ja, Deacon Blackblade. Is power and Thalus each equal to the number of lens control. Hm, wel grappig. En dan, ja, die we al hadden gezien. Abu Jafar. Abu Jafar. Sweet. Nice. And here we see the entire booster pack. So it turns out that Felden's game is actually not an uncommon in Chronicles. It's just a common, which kind of surprises me because the effect is pretty unique. Um, and let's take a look. So we've got two uncommons, Abu Jafar and Fire Drake. And then we've got uh, Deacon uh, Black Blade, which is, I think, officially an uncommon as well. But it's an uncommon four or something. So I kind of count it in the rare slot here. Um, now, <laughs> in, in my intro, I said there's actually some value in Chronicles. Well, there is some value if you're lucky, but in general, you will just have booster packs like this. Very nice booster packs, by the way. I mean, if you have this as a draft, it's really useful booster pack. Uh, and the cards themselves are very beautiful, and also some of them are very useful. Uh, Deacon Blackblade, fantastic card. But if you just look at the raw value of this pack, it's very low. I would say around a euro around a dollar and that's that's what you're going to get for this um but a beautiful pack nonetheless deacon black blade beautiful richard king ferguson art abu jafar fantastic uh with that unique ability there and just for one white not very playable but still it's a cool card um so this is it this is the booster packs chronicles and now we are going uh, to continue to homelands and so we are at the last booster pack opening of this video and we've arrived at Homelands and Homelands is a set that was part of the Ice Age block. It was a set that consisted out of 140 cards and it was released in October of 1995. Now the most valuable cards, because I have to talk about cards here plural, is because there are two cards kind of tied for value here. You've got Cuscan Falls. It's an enchant world for two black and two, and it reads during your upkeep, tap target untapped creature you control or bury the falls. No creature can attack you unless its controller pays an additional two whenever that creature attacks. So it's basically a way to protect yourself, especially from um, from token decks or decks that just want to swarm in with a lot of creatures. So Cuscan Falls, and it's two euros if you want to have a nice fresh Cuscan Falls. And the same goes for a Wall of Kelp, the other card here on the list. For two blue, you get a 03 Wall. Now, I'm a big fan of Walls, so I like it when full Walls actually see some play. And this card, actually, it's not too bad. For two blue and tap, you get a Kelp token, and you can treat this token as a 0-1 blue Wall. Now, obviously, just for two mana you get a token and you know you can do stuff with tokens so i can understand that this card sees some play now as a noticeable card i have put down the autumn willow because for me it's really the card that reminds me of the set when the set came out people were not very enthusiastic there were two cards that people were enthusiastic about or actually maybe three i'm thinking about ice and shade i'm thinking about um baron sengir um, those were cards people were really excited about, but for me it was Autumn Willow. Autumn Willow was six mana, but I, you know who cares? What it was is this first line on the card cannot be the target of spells or effects. That completely blew me away. I was like, okay, wait a minute, you, you, you cannot, you cannot kill it. It's impossible to kill it. I mean, yeah, combat, but I mean you're not stupid enough to go in combat if you know that you're going to lose the block. So. For me, for me, this looked like an extremely strong card. And for one green, you can actually uh, play a spell or an effect on it. And it also says when you tap the one green target player. So not it doesn't say it can be the target of spells or effects. No, it says target player may target Autumn Willow with spells or effects until end of turn. So it's it's really a card that really impressed me and I thought oh man this is just too powerful obviously it was not but that's what I thought at the time okay enough rambling uh let's continue to the Homelands booster pack opening Even kijken, Funeral March, Torture, Abby Metron, 
cemetery gate, Asian bureaucrats, ambush, broken visage, and castle singer. The two incomes. Ah, okay, so these are the rares then. Right? Yeah, the rares then. Ik weet niet, echt niet of het goede zijn. Want, uh... nou, als het homeland is, is het kleine kans. Ja, dat is waar. <laughs> And here you go. This is the booster pack. So the two uh, rares or uncommons, I guess uncommons, are Broken Visage and Castle Sengir. Only eight cards in, just in this pack, just like Fallen Empire. And as you can see, the total value is very low, just around 40 cents. There's just not a lot of value in this pack. So um, next week, I'll be back with the opening of the four booster packs of fourth edition. So if you want to see that, uh, keep an eye on the channel because I will be showing that uh, next week, Tuesday. So then I'll uh, be back with the opening of the four fourth edition booster packs. Now it's in total, this is um, a, a series that consists out of six episodes. This was the first one. The fourth edition one will be episode number two. And I'm going all the way to the opening of the antiquities booster pack. That's actually the last uh, opening. And here you can see a little sneak peek preview of the fourth edition booster pack opening. So keep an eye on the channel if you enjoy watching these old school booster openings. For now, thank you very much for watching Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so by becoming a member, leaving a like or leaving a comment. So for now, thank you for your support and see you next time. Ik het als fik het als somba kan zien.